Hi everybody, welcome to what is the first posting in a very long series of postings I'm going to be doing on 101 SharePoint Usability Test. A little bit about me, my name is Virgil Carroll, I'm the President and the Principal Architect at High Monkey Consulting. I actually hail from the great state of Alaska and my background actually has nothing to do with technology. I kind of got into technology on my own, but I have a license in sports medicine. I'm a certified athletic trainer and I actually have a master's degree in instructional design which is kind of like curriculum development. Development. The important thing kind of for this series is I've been building graphical user interfaces and doing information architecture uh, really since 1998, so for a really long time, and I'm a huge user experience advocate. I have this really crazy thought that systems shouldn't just function, but they should actually be easy for people to use. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to keep this introduction kind of brief in here, but just kind of want to give you a little background on what we're doing here. So. Uh, what are we going to be doing over the next 101 days? Well, the 101st day from today, since this is August 3rd, is November 12th, which is actually the first day of the SharePoint Conference 2012. So kind of thought this might be a fun way to do some things around there. Uh, this is mostly going to be focused around quick tips, so none of these postings are going to be really extensive. They're going to be mostly around very simple, easy-to-do usability features that you can implement right away and make a big difference. So I'll be doing both uh, kind of summary blogs and video posts every day so for every day for the next hundred and one days so that's going to be kind of interesting and these are going to be broken down into a lot of different categories I'm going to start out tomorrow talking about layout and design I'm going to go to navigation, going to talk about information organization, content management, forms, performance, accessibility, and compatibility, and then some other quick tips and tricks that maybe just don't have as much a category to them as they're just little things that I've picked up throughout the years that are going to help you in that. So really looking forward to kind of getting started on this. And the plan is that we'll have a DVD available at the conference with the full 101 videos for anybody that might be interested in that. So what is usability and why do we want to talk about it? Well, you know, the official definition is usability is a quality attribute that assesses how easy user interfaces are to use. What does that mean to us? Is can you figure it out or can you not? When we look at things, we kind of look at these five quality components that we see out there. The first and foremost being learnability. You know, otherwise, how easy is an interface to learn? You've definitely seen in the SharePoint world that there are some definite components of it that can be kind of difficult at times. So we're going to be looking at uh, some of the learnability issues and how we can overcome that. The second one that we look at is efficiency. And so efficiency is really how quickly can you get something done? And don't confuse efficiency with, uh, you know, or clicks to something it's really about can I quickly get to something because I understand the path that I'm going on the third one being memorability memorability is you know so after I've done a task and I have to go back and do it a while later can I remember what to do errors you know obviously we all know that SharePoint is 100% great at giving us perfect feedback when we get an error in a system and so uh, part of that is really being able to look at the errors and actually have some way because a lot of people don't understand what it is to kind of recover from errors and that so and the last being satisfaction how pleasant is it to use a design and uh, what's that kind of look like so why am I doing this? Well, truthfully, early on in the SharePoint community, I kind of got pigeonholed into being considered a governance and security expert. I still talk about governance and security all the time, and I enjoy those topics, but overall, I've been doing design and usability for longer than SharePoint, frankly, has been a product. So that's really uh, my true strength and something I've been doing for a very long time. And the other thing is most usability issues, truthfully, they can be fixed by just following some simple good practices, and it's not like you have to do major revamps in that and you know Fran am I doing this as videos well uh, frankly I enjoy talking a lot more than I'm writing and anybody that knows me knows that's so very true so one of the things that I'm going to leave you with is up next uh, another thing we're going to be doing here over the next few months is we're going to kind of do a SharePoint 2010 versus 2013 usability showdown we're actually going to go through actual usability tests and and do some reporting on that so well, that's kind of it that I had for now. Uh, really looking forward to uh, all of you kind of tuning in on a regular basis to a lot of these posts and uh, really looking forward to sharing some of my knowledge with everybody on this and, you know, looking forward to getting some feedback from the community, basically, if, you know, this was helpful or not. So thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.